Hi, my name is Pam East, and today I want to talk to you about a new product called Clear Enamel. Clear Enamel is a wetting agent that you use with enamels. It's a surface tension reducer. It reduces bubbles in enamel. Now you may be thinking to yourself, well, I don't see any bubbles in my enamel, so I don't need that. The truth is, virtually all enamels has, have bubbles in them. Most of those bubbles are so microscopic that you can't see them with the naked eye. You would need some sort of magnification to see them. And again, you're going to think, well, if I can't see them, then they're not a problem, right? Well, not so much. If you have a lot of microscopic bubbles in your enamel, it's going to make your enamels appear a little hazy or clouded. The more, and it, more bubbles you can remove from your enamel, the clearer your results are going to be and the more depth your enamel will appear to have. So you really want to get rid of those bubbles. Now there's several things you can do to reduce bubbles in your enamel. The first line of defense is removing fines from your enamel. And this is removing those very fine particles. And that can be done with screening or with washing. I have a video on screening enamels. The link is at the bottom of the screen. You can go look at that. Um, another thing you need to do to reduce bubbles in your enamel is apply your enamels in very thin layers. If you try and put a lot of enamel in all at once and fire it all at once, you're going to trap more air into your enamel and you're going to end up with more bubbles. So working with thin layers is, is important. The latest weapon in my bubble reduction arsenal is clear enamel. Clear enamel is a surface tension reducer and that's going to do a couple of things for you. One, it's going to make it a lot easier to lay down your enamels. They're going to lay down more smoothly, and that's going to allow you to get those nice thin layers. And also, because it reduce, reduces surface tension, it's going to eliminate a lot of the bubbles. So let me show you how this works. I'm going to start with about a tablespoon of water. This is a little soy sauce cup, but um, a condiment cup would work just as well. And I'm going to put a good squirt in here. If I counted it out, it would probably be 20 or 30 drops, but I just go by color. I'm looking for a nice light pink color. Once I have that mixed up, um, I'm going to apply it to my metal. Now, I've already cleaned the metal. If you need instruction on how to prepare metal for enameling, I have another video on that. The link is below. Um, I've already put on the counter enamel, and now I'm going to use the clear enamel to prepare the surface. And I'm just going to rub some of this across the surface. And now I'm going to start applying the enamel. And you'll notice that I'm going to dip my brush in the clear enamel each time I pick up a little more of this enamel. And I'm getting just a tiny, tiny bit in with each application. It's very concentrated. The clear enamel is very concentrated, so you don't want to use a lot. I would never put it directly in my enamel. First of all, I'd end up getting too much in there, and second of all, when it evaporates, it leaves a residue, and I don't want to get my enamels contaminated with that. The amount I'm getting in there on my brush just isn't enough to cause any problems. And you can see it's going on very neatly. It's laying down very nicely. And this is going to really improve the clarity and depth of my enamels. Now, I'm doing a bass tie piece here, but where this really shines is when you're doing cloisonne or chamblevé or some process where the enamel is going to be very deep. Because the deeper the enamels, the more layers of enamel you do, the more of those microscopic bubbles build up and create that hazing effect I was talking about. And you will be amazed at how much clearer and deeper your enamels look if you use this clear enamel with each layer. All right, so there that's applied. Now I'll dry it, fire it like I normally would, and then I will apply the next layer. And when I do the next layer, it's the exact same thing. Wet the surface and then dip as you're applying the enamels. That's all there is to it. I hope you enjoy the product as much as I do.